Well, I cannot. I don't know. Uh, in a project like Piper, it's always hard to know uh, who uh, uses um, the project. So uh, I have no idea. I imagine it is used because I always uh, discover uh, after the fact that people use PyPy in places I had no idea. Uh, but I don't know. So, uh, well, to use uh, PyPy is uh, not very different uh, from uh, using uh, CPython. Uh, usually, the uh, the same code uh, already works um, when you uh, transition from CPython to PyPy. The main thing to learn uh, when you switch to PyPy is to uh, understand the uh, the performance characteristics of PyPy, uh, and so to um, get into a different mindset where uh, you know you can rely uh, on the JIT uh, and therefore you can uh, write things uh, more like you would in um, statically compiled language than uh, what you do in uh, regular Python. So for instance, it's using uh, uh, mostly lists uh, because accessing, uh, indexing a list is uh, very fast and avoiding uh, dictionaries because uh, indexing a, a dictionary is much slower. So that's a uh, thing like that which you uh, um, don't notice when you use CPython uh, become important with PyPy. But uh, by and large, it's the, sa the same language and it uh, behaves the same. Well, uh, PyPy, uh, first of all, has all the, uh, the debug tools of uh, Python. So, um, uh, PDB and uh, all the, uh, the other debuggers uh, that exist in Python also work uh, in PyPy. Um, uh, and uh, they are uh, very useful, uh, no matter w which uh, interpreter uh, you use. Uh, for things uh, more specific uh, to uh, PyPy, uh, we have um, mostly uh, one tool uh, that is uh, very useful. Uh, it's called VMProf. It's a statistical profiler. Um, that means uh, that um, it can uh, measure um, which proportion uh, of the time is uh, spent in uh, which part of your code. Um, and it does that by um, sampling um, the, the program. Uh, that's why it's called statistical. Um, and um, that way it uh, does not disrupt uh, the, the workings of the program. It can be made... Um, I mean, its uh, overhead can be uh, as small as you want. Um, so that is uh, um, very important for um, uh, to measure GTIT code um, because when uh, the um, Python code is JITed, um, it uh, you have a lot of Python code that is uh, executed in a very short time. Um, so if you had some solution that were uh, tied to lines of Python code, it would have a massive overhead. And uh, in addition to that, um, this tool, VMProf, uh, is also uh, able uh, to um, visualize the uh, inner workings of the uh, just-in-time compiler. So um, you can see, uh, when you use it, how uh, a piece of uh, Python code uh, gets uh, compiled down to a uh, machine code uh, by the JIT and um, that's a very useful tool when you want to um, to optimize the performance of um, uh, Python code running under Py PyPy. Well, I guess you uh, would do exactly the same as uh, with uh, CPython. Um, 
The same uh, web uh, frameworks work on PyPy as uh, they work on uh, CPython. Um, the code you uh, would write is uh, mostly the same. Um, I don't have much uh, experience uh, with uh, web frameworks, so I uh, can't uh, recommend uh, anything specific. But uh, if you already know how to use it uh, with uh, CPython, just do the same with PyPy. For the best performance, um, well, there are um, two parts. Um, uh, I would say first, um, program uh, what you need uh, in Python and just use uh, pure Python as, uh, as much as you can. Um, and uh, try to, um, to optimize it for PyPy. So, um, using um, um, idioms that are uh, well optimized on PyPy. Um, so, uh, using list, using uh, small classes, um, staying with um, uh, built-in uh, types uh, uh, as much as you can. Um, and um, then, um, uh, to, uh, to optimize code, the most important thing is to, uh, to measure the, the performance uh, of your code. Um, so, uh, have um, uh, a good benchmark um, and uh, measure uh, the performance. Uh, so, a good benchmark is something that is realistic and that is uh, as close as possible to uh, the uh, the code you really uh, want to uh, have uh, run as fast uh, as possible, uh, and then uh, you you iterate uh, from that. So um, apply uh, the uh, the techniques to um, uh, to optimize uh, uh, PyPy code um, and um, use uh, VMProf to. Um, uh, to get more insights um, uh, into what's going on, to which uh, where the uh, hot loops are, and uh, uh, verify whether they are um, uh, well um, uh, optimized uh, by the JIT or not. So if they're not, then uh, fix it. And uh, after that, uh, if um, performance is still not uh, as good as you want, uh, you can uh, explore um, uh, dropping down to a different language. Uh, so uh, C or Fortran or Rust. Uh, and um, there are uh, various tools to um, um, wrap uh, foreign code um, that work well with uh, PyPy. So for C, uh, uh, you should mostly use uh, CFFI, um, and uh, I think that's uh, the main thing. Uh, stay in uh, pure Python for as long as you can, and then uh, if you still have some part that needs to be optimized more, uh, then use uh, C or uh, any other uh, high-performance language using uh, a fast wrapper like CFFI. I would imagine they can. I uh, don't know the uh, uh, this um, specific uh, case. Uh, it depends on the details, uh, as always. But um, in uh, such uh, cases, um, I mean, I uh, can compare uh, with. Um, um, some uh, of the frameworks uh, that um, um, uh, that can uh, give access to, to Python from uh, other languages. So, uh, for instance, from C++, um, there is um, PyBind11, uh, and they've um, made it uh, compatible with uh, PyPy with uh, little uh, difficulty. So um, I would imagine that in the case of the Unreal Engine, uh, there are no uh, major difficulties in principle. It's mostly a matter of the developers uh, of these bindings um, testing uh, on PyPy. 
let's uh, talk about uh, Aaron Python and Jason first. Uh, I guess um, they um, were uh, quite uh, popular a few uh, a few years ago. Uh, the main reason uh, they um, are a bit uh, forgotten now is that uh, their development uh, has uh, stalled. So. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, people uh, prefer to use a project that is uh, um, actively uh, um, maintained and uh, has uh, new releases. Uh, so uh, that's why uh, PyPy keeps um, uh, uh, going um, and uh, why we keep uh, uh, getting uh, new users. Um, so now for, um, for the other part of the question, um, the um, why is it still uh, a niche uh, project? Um, well, um, it's there are uh, several factors. Uh, I think one is just uh, simply the uh, the network uh, effect uh, because there are. Uh, few people using PyPy, uh, few people uh, uh, hear of it and uh, feel confident uh, uh, to use it. Um, so, uh, uh, even if uh, PyPy started to, to become uh, uh, more widely used in the Python community, uh, it uh, would still take a long time for it to uh, uh, to overtake uh, C Python, if it's uh, ever even something that will ever happen, uh, and uh, the uh, the other thing is that um, it's uh, obviously safer to uh, stay with uh, C Python, uh, which is um, very uh, very well known, used by uh, millions of developers. Um, so uh, as long as uh, Python. Uh, uh, fulfills uh, the needs of programmers. Uh, it's perfectly uh, uh, reasonable that they just stay with the Python and uh, don't um, move to PyPy. Um, and uh, a third reason is that uh, until uh, recently, uh, PyPy uh, couldn't support uh, the uh, the uh, main uh, C extensions. Uh, and uh, nowadays, uh, you can't really say you support Python if you don't support uh, NumPy and Pandas and uh, Scikit-learn. Um, so uh, we've um, fortunately uh, fixed that uh, uh, about uh, two years ago, I think. Uh, but um, it's still, um, I suppose it uh, will uh, still take some time for the uh, um, information to um, uh, to be uh, uh, really uh, present in uh, everybody's mind, um, and um, yes, and also um, uh, uh, another reason why uh, people uh, want to stick with uh, C Python is that it's a uh, um, so it's the standard implementation of Python, and it's the one that um, adds all the new features. So if you want to live on the bleeding edge, uh, then uh, you uh, you need uh, the, the latest version of C Python. Fortunately, we uh, um, we don't have the resources to uh, uh, to follow uh, C Python. Uh, we uh, always have a, a bit of a gap in, uh, in versions.